Hello everyone, welcome to our Return to Moria Survival Guide. So we are making some decorative items today because goodness gracious we have a lot of stuff that is just kind of like laying around and the cool thing is that this game actually provides you with different ways to display those items. They don't have to like just be locked away anymore, which is great. So today we're talking about the weapons rack. So you can, you know, hang your weapons and admire them and all that. So when it comes to the weapons rack, if you don't have it unlocked yet, you need to make the tiled hearth, which we have over here. Um, and basically when you when you build this and set it down, it uh, unlocks a number of, of recipes. One of them being uh, the weapon rack, which uh, if you make it to this area, actually, they already have some in existence. Like these were all here before. And you can kind of see that I put some weapons on them already. So that's kind of great that there's existing weapon storage here already. They're, you know, you're more than welcome to just use these if you would like. But, you know, if you move on, and I'm sure I'll be moving on from here too, I'll need a new area or a new, uh, a new um, thing to, you know, put my weapons on. So uh, once you have unlocked it, it appears right here in storage and displays. The weapon rack, it says stores and displays up to four weapons. And the great thing about this is that it is very, in my opinion anyway, inexpensive. You need 15 wood scraps and then one iron ingot. And I was actually very surprised that this was as inexpensive as it was. Uh, depend, uh, since because of you, because you don't like get this recipe unlocked until after the tiled hearth. Which in my opinion, the tiled hearth is like kind of expensive to build just in terms of like the quantity of items that you need and the fact that it's like later down in the game so I was, i'm really surprised but i love how cheap this is so uh if we were gonna make this we just click this and then you can see it's right there and then we would just put it wherever we want now i'm not going to actually build one right now just because i have these guys for now but again in the future i know i'll be making quite a few of these because I, I highly doubt that future base locations is going to be you know as as convenient as this one with all the the storage but basically how this works you can kind of see i've got like things here too where's an empty one so this is an empty one we can open this and then if we wanted to display something we could just be like, oh, let's put our, you know, Belagost helper down here. And then, boom, there it is. And then the cool thing about this, too, is that if we wanted to pick this back up, uh, we can see that it's highlighted here. That we can just literally just take it by pressing the E key, and boom, it goes right back into uh, our little slot there. So I could do the same thing with here if I wanted to take the Region Spear. I've got it. There it is in my inventory. But I don't really want that, so we're going to put it back here, and this is how you put it in. Literally just click, drag it in, and then there it is. It's on display. And then you can obviously, like over here, I have like two axes that are on display. And I have, uh, there we go. I have uh, done it in such a way that like there's a space here. And I just kind of did that because I was just like, let's not make it, you know, too uh, cookie cutter. Uh, although I'm sure once I get enough axes in here, I'll, I'll, this will be, I'll be full. But for right now, I just, I just thought I'd, I would put a space there. And that's just kind of how it looks. So you can kind of like play around with it with like that like this one for example we have like two in a row but you know you can kind of play around with uh how you want it to to look and all that and um you know then you can just admire your weapons admire your progress because you know what you have made a lot of progress in this game already so congrats to you uh but that's about it so uh let me know how you guys like to design your weapon racks obviously this is all pre-made so i think I, this i don't like myself like i do not know why they did it like that's a little weird to me but um you know let me know what you guys uh decorate your weapons uh weapon racks how you like to set them all up and all that uh in the comments so thanks so much for watching i will see you the next one until then keep surviving and keep thriving